Okay, I'm back again, uh, this time hopefully doing an arena run which could solidify my position to get into tier 20. As you can see, I'm tier 19 with a score of 4,802 points. Um, my rank is around the 5,000 mark and the cutoff is around 7,000. Um, there is two days left of the arena and as you know, as the days uh, come off to that cutoff point, Lots of uh, people play the arena, so there's a possibility I could get kicked out um, from my promotion. Uh, as you can see, I've got my defensive wins, and there's this person that was using Felicia um, as their lead unit, so that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, you can see the units I'm using on the left-hand side, uh, pretty much just standard uh, characters. Um, I'm trying to get around 686 points to 694 per match. Uh, I'm getting very unlucky here. Um, so we have this uh, person who has Azura as the lead unit. And Delphia, Lucina and Hector. Luckily uh, Delphia is not really... Um, uh, skill inheritance out uh, and due to the reposition skill I'm able to pick up the kill on Lucina I'm, I'm not sure why Azura went left when my maybe it was the shortest route to Olivia but either way she dies and Reinhardt can kill Hector on the defensive tile and Delthea is going to get herself killed um, so again, it's this idea that you don't really need strong units. I mean, my Summer Xander is not the best unit in the game, but he was effective to kill two units. Um, Reinhard cleared up the rest. I want to point out that my Reinhard is 40 plus 3. So even though he is merged, he's not merged that much. Uh, considering I am using a horse unit and a mage and a dancer with low BST. So here we go, we have a, the highest maximum points I can potentially get, 694. Uh, they have a Sorin, which in my opinion is a, a decent choice, but he doesn't run Green Tone Breaker. Um, so he, or Wind Sweep. So he's automatically going to damage himself or get himself killed on my Julia. Um... So there you go, Sorin is dead straight away, uh, then Selica runs into my Reinhardt and gets killed, and I can then kill Cordelia. Um, obviously Corrin can't do anything to Julia and will then get herself killed. So again, um, arena matches to get into tier 20 are not that hard, um, you just got to use a weapon triangle uh, to your advantage. Um, I do recommend running Green Tomb Breaker on Julia, as you've seen why with Sorin, and you'll see why with Green Mages like Nino and Sonya, if there are any Sonyas. Um, Julia becomes the strongest, if not the strongest, Green Mage. Uh, so again, we have a, a Nino here. The first check is to see if they have Green Tomb Breaker, but the bread and butter build for Nino is to run Desperation. The reason why I didn't move my Julia up and then dance and move Julia into Nino's attack range is just in case my Julia could not kill Nino because then Azura would Wings of Mercy and might be able to kill my Julia. So I'm playing defensive here because the AI is pretty damn horrible as you can see why. And my Julia can kill Azura, and then due to Green Tomb Breaker, can kill Nino. So again, Julia got two kills in one turn. Due to the bad positioning uh, of the enemy, due to reposition, Julia is able to pick up a third kill on Robin. And Reinhardt can clean up Ryoma. So again, three 
incredibly easy games. Um, just utilize the bad AI. Um, especially when the enemy team has drawback and reposition. They hurt themselves more than, you know, do damage. Because they just get themselves killed. And you have to take advantage of that. So we have a, a Hector lead unit. Again, uh, another Nino with Desperation. Again, a bad build in my opinion. I mean, it's good for like, say, uh, Chain Challenge or, or whatever. But it's not good for Arena Defensive. Because all Nino's going to do is run into my Julia and die. So you get that advantage right off the bat. Not only that, my Julia has a special charge. I could easily go for um, Ephraim, but that would be the easy option, and I want to kill Hector. So what I can do is move my Reinhardt into the optimum position to kill Ryoma, and move my Julia to Hector. This allows me to kill uh, Ephraim with my Reinhardt, and Julia can kill Hector with that 69 damage. So again, Julia is one of the strongest mages in the game, uh, and I, I really do like her. So again, we, we, we're getting lucky with another uh, high point unit team. Uh, it's enemy Berku, which is actually an interest, interesting choice, and enemy Faye with Wings of Mercy. So again, it's something you have to look out for. Again. Sorin does not have green tone breaker, so you know what that means. I can simply move Julia onto the defensive tile to tank. And you saw exactly what happened there. Because Faye is a ranged unit, she even if she wings of mercies next to Sorin. She can't actually do anything. She can't attack my Julia due to the way Wings of Mercy works. So she Wings of Mercy behind Sorin and draw back. And I'm pretty sure Ike used reposition. So again, Wings of Mercy is not a good choice on a ranged unit um, due to the way it works and the attack uh, range of ranged units. So again, an another quick victory. Barely any effort really goes into it. Mo uh, um, the theme, as you can see, is mainly baiting an enemy unit and then killing the rest afterwards. Uh, because most teams use Reinhard, Nino, Sorin, it's easy to get the bait. Uh, initially, kill a unit and then kill the rest of the units. So I'm getting horrible luck, and we eventually get another Hector. Uh, enemy Reinhard, as you can see. Also note the Xander, who has horse buffs as well. But I have a champion called Julia, so it doesn't really matter. I was checking to see if any enemy team had Wings of Mercy, but none of them did. Due to the horse buffs, my Julia cannot double the Reinhard. But, I opted to save my special for Julia and kill with Reinhard. That way I can dance and reposition out. Uh, this will lead Xander uh, to charge me like an animal. And even though he's in a defensive tower, I can instantly kill him due to Dragon Fang. Again, Dragon Fang is an extremely powerful special. If you've watched my Chain Challenge videos, you would see why I like the special so much. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill. And to play it safe, I'll just use Olivia to kill Hector. My Olivia does have Triangle Adept 3. And therefore, she's able to kill Hector. 
again that's six victories so as you can tell it's relatively quick to get a deathless arena run uh, here we have an enemy bride cordelia lead and an enemy julia you can tell this person has extremely good taste because they have a green tone breaker julia so you can tell they know what they're doing um, due to my julia being plus speed we both have 30 speed um, so that way her uh, the enemy team's Julia cannot double my Julia. Due to the enemy Reinhard, that again gives me the advantage of killing one unit. Of course. The enemy Julia did get a speed buff, but again, it's not enough to double my Julia. I also have the defensive tile as an advantage, right. and I'm also able to pick up Bridal Cordelia. This leaves the enemy Julia to attack me, and then I could simply retaliate and kill her next turn. Let's go. Again, we're using Olivia to kill Hector due to um, having Triangle Adapt, which then gets me the kill on Hector, which completes my Deathless Arena run to hopefully get into tier 20. Uh, it wasn't the most optimum run in terms of enemy points for their teams, but my now uh, total point value is, as you can see there, which is enough to uh, stay into, uh, get into tier 20. So thanks for watching.